YouTube opinionated review ahead and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to jailbreak iOS 5.0 beta 3 with Snowbreeze 2.8 beta 4. Now you're going to need three things for this. You're going to need the Snowbreeze 2.8 beta 4. You're going to need the iOS 5 beta 3 IPSW 4, the iDevice that you're jailbreaking and you're going to need iTunes 10.5 beta 3. I have the links to everything down in the description. Just check the description for all the download links. Or a link to all the download links. So first thing you're going to do is right click Snowbreeze. Click Properties. Click Compatibility. Run this program in Compatibility Mode 4. Windows Service Pack 2. Check Run this program as an administrator. Click Apply. And then click OK. So now you're going to run Snowbreeze, click OK, close credits, click Next, browse for that iOS 5 beta 3 firmware that you downloaded from the links provided. Let Snowbreeze try to identify it. Snowbreeze already identified, we're going to click Next. And all these modes preserve your baseband so you don't have to worry about a baseband update. And this is the best jailbreak if you want to unlock after you finish jailbreaking. So we're just going to click select simple mode because there's nothing really to select this, given the fact that it's a tethered jailbreak. So we're going to let Snowbreeze work its magic and we're going to come back after Snowbreeze is finished. Now that Snowbreeze is finished we're going to click OK. And we're going to get ready to put our iDevice into DFU mode. You're going to hold the power button for 3 seconds. Hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Release the power button. Keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Snowbees recognize your iDevice. So let's go. We're going to click start. And let's go. 1 Mississippi. 2 Mississippi. 3 Mississippi. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, release, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, and it recognizes the iDevice, so we just release, just click OK, and then close out, Snow Breeze, and open up iTunes. So now iTunes open, we're going to press shift and then click restore. And we're going to look for that Snowbreeze firmware that was just created by Snowbreeze. It'll be on your desktop by default. This is it right here. Restore. Now we're going to let Snowbreeze work its magic. I'm going to come back when Snowbreeze is finished. So now that iTunes is finished, you're going to realize that your Cydia and your Safari is crashing. Don't worry about it. That's normal for Tether jailbreak. So now what we're going to do is boot it up with iBooty. So you're going to locate the iBooty folder and launch it. It's going to be on your desktop by default. Select your device which should be the only one and you're going to click start and get ready to put your iDevice into DFU mode. So now 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi, 7 Mississippi, 8 Mississippi, 9 Mississippi, 10 Mississippi, release. 1 Mississippi, 2 Mississippi, 3 Mississippi, 4 Mississippi, 5 Mississippi, 6 Mississippi. And iBooty recognize iDevice, so you just release and let it work its magic. And that's it. Your Cydia and your Safari should now be working like normal. May the jailbreak force be with you. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.